What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to get unlimited clicker mods and unlimited king mods very easily in Dying Light. What you want to do here is activate the Prison Heist quest. And it's called Haran Prison, by the way, and you can find it pretty easily. It says DLC on the right. That's only the first method, and that's for getting king mods strictly. And I will tell you how to do that in a second. The second method is by playing Zombie Invasions, which is Dying Light's PvP mode. Now, the human's objective is to kill the zombies' nests as fast as they can. Um, or just until, you know, there are no more nests to destroy and before they run out of lives. Anyways, at these nests, you're going to find nest spawns. These are the guys you're going to kill, and once they're dead on the ground, they are now lootable. And you'll get Zade's flares, and you will get crafting materials, but a lot of times, you're going to get clicker mods, and even king mods. I found one king mod out of like 20 clicker mods that I've actually found. So this is really cool and the chances of actually getting a clicker are pretty good. I want to say one out of five it seems like I was finding a lot of them. But sometimes there's going to be a dry spell where you just don't find any. And that's how easy it is to get the clickers. You should try zombie invasions anyways. Now let's do the prison heist method. And what we want to do here is get the guru reward. Which means we need to go through this as fast as we can. But I'm going to be playing this on nightmare difficulty. Nightmare difficulty means that you only have to complete this within 20 minutes. Which is a lot of time. And if you have done Dahlia's side missions you should have the blueprint for cloak potions. I'm going to show you how to get through this with the cloak potions. Dahlia is located in the slums. If you go to this safe zone here on the map, you will find her underneath this cover. She's stirring the pot and she's a witch basically. Just talk to her. She'll give you some missions to test potions and blah blah blah. Eventually you get the cloak potion blueprint and we're going to need that. So I tried this using firecrackers without the cloaks and I just kept getting screwed with by the zombies. So let's get started. First we're going to skip this. That's not an important detail. That just saves us about half a second. And since we're on a nightmare we don't have to worry. Now before you step forward into this area with all the boxes and the helicopter, you're going to see these fences. Instead of going through, we're going to take a left and go around the corner. And we're going to go against this wall and right here. And we are going to go unnoticed for a very long time. Which means we're not going to die. I haven't died yet doing this. So they're going to shoot you normally if you ran down the middle. They'd kill you instantly. But since we ran along the side and we're smart, we didn't die. Yeah, I don't know if you can die as long as you don't stop right there. Right here, you're going to tackle right through that guy. You want to tackle that dude. He will get you all jammed up and you will insta die in the lobby which sucks so just remember that you have the tackle ability I'm not using any speed potions or anything this zombie here I like to get rid of him right away just because um, you know he's a pain in the ass and you have to kill him once he crosses into this room but he does work really well as a distraction if you don't kill him right away the bad guys are just gonna shoot at him mostly if they haven't spotted you. Now, I don't want to use my uh, 900 booster just because I want to show you guys that it's actually possible to do this without um, shields or 900 boosters. But, yeah, we're just going to use our regular machete. You can use a gun if you want. Ranged weapons work really well here. Alright, now our zombie is just now getting here. Oh yeah, plus if you die, like I just did, you won't spawn at the beginning or anything. You're going to spawn right outside the doors that lead to this room. So don't worry about dying. It's going to cost you like 10 seconds. But the guys that you killed before are still going to be dead. No need to worry. All right. We're going to kill that asshole. And yep, I saw that coming. Continuing onward, we're just going to finish off these dudes. If you're playing on Nightmare, which you should... Fuck. Like I said, you don't have to worry about dying. You can die all you want. And as long as you're playing on Nightmare, you should be able to finish Prison Heist um, in time to get the Guru Reward. 
but go ahead and duck in and out of these rooms. That helps a lot. Woo! Oh my god, damn it. Now I'm only doing this without the Nyander booster, which would help us a lot, because people are complaining about not having any types of uh, potions or anything. They, they don't even have, you know, shield potion, which I'm pretty sure that's one of the potions you can get, um, or unlock, rather, by being a high enough survival level. So let's finish off this last guy real quick. If you're good at ranged weapons or anything, that'll help you get through that room. I died four times, and we have four minutes on the clock. But that's okay. Like I said, we have 20 minutes to complete the entire DLC. So run right past that bomber. Now you're going to see this hole. You're going to want to drop in the hole and then turn around. You're going to see this pond or puddle, rather, of electricity. That means you're going the right way. You're gonna see this pile of rubble. If you look up, you'll see a hole. You're gonna to wanna to crawl through that. You can tackle or vault through these zombies. Take your pick, doesn't matter. Um, you could even kill them if you want, which is a waste of time. Now we're to the point where firecrackers were not working for me, and I'm gonna to wanna to use my cloak potions now. So there's gonna be a goon busting out of the door there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run straight to that wall and just wait for the goon to smack his hammer because this is a scripted part where the hammer is supposed to just knock you back no matter what but it doesn't happen if you're against that wall so using cloak i am now invisible and lock picking when you're lock picking this is a hard lock by the way it's gonna break your lock pick pretty quick um you're gonna want to you know lay off on torquing the lock just because you're gonna break your lock a lot faster. You're gonna want to tap, and once you feel your controller not vibrate, you're gonna want your controller to be on, uh, you know, vibration mode, or just have the vibration mode activated. Um, yeah, locks are very easy once you know how to preserve your lock pick for longer. So right here, this is where we're gonna use cloaks combined with our flares. Now, when I was trying to do this with the firecrackers virals they don't care at all for firecrackers you know they might look at it for a second but most of them they're not going to pay attention at all to your damn firecrackers so um i couldn't get through using that you know if it, if you have to go ahead and kill all those zombies and virals and things um that's going to take you a very long time but if you have a shotgun with all the ammo you should be able to do it it's possible we are now to the end boss part and right here this is where we're going to use our shotgun it's just easier to use against these demolishers they also die if you shoot them in the head with a bow or a crossbow but i did have one game where i shot the demolisher several times in the head with the die uh with the crossbow actually anyways okay so we don't have any more shotgun ammo you do not want to attempt this without a shotgun if you are attempting this without a shotgun i don't maybe you just don't care or something i don't know you do want to hit these dudes in the head on nightmare mode it should work fine there we go got him we've almost got all these dudes dead oh yeah just power hitting them works if you don't have the drop attack skill unlocked you can go ahead and power hit these dudes, but on Nightmare difficulty, you get a lot less stamina. Alright. There's only a couple zombies left, and they're way back there. That corner, by the way, if you haven't seen my other videos, um, zombies are always lingering back there for some reason. It's retarded. And power hit didn't take all my stamina up like it usually does. Alright, so we want to shoot this dude in the head. Mm, that should get loaded. We're going for headshots, though. Alright, stop moving so much. Why? There we go. Jesus, you don't have to knock his helmet off. Just hit him in the face. Look at that. I did this in 15 minutes, and it still gives me guru. And that's it, basically. I got through without using Niander Booster. Which makes you invincible, basically. I also got through without the shotgun ammo. That's why you're going to want the shotgun, okay? You can buy 
a semi-automatic shotgun like mine at vendors. I was informed of this through the comments. You don't need the following. Uh, just look for it through the vendors. And it doesn't need to be a high tier color. Like, I have an orange one. I just did that to make my inventory look pretty. Alright, so now we get three whole minutes to do whatever we want. And what we're going to do is unlock these chests. So quick lock picking, uh, you see that? The sweet spot was right at the beginning. So my first tip is to check for the sweet spot uh, to be in the lock pick position, you know, the ordinary just like that lock pick position. And if your controller vibrates, uh, you need to just do what I'm doing. Very gently use your right stick to put torque on the lock. And if the sweet spot's not there, you'll find out immediately so just tap you will feel your controller vibrate and when you tap it and you don't feel your controller vibrate that means you're right next to the sweet spot you can start looking for the actual um, angle that you need to have the lock pick to be at to unlock the chest see that bam no vibrations, so the sweet spot's just about right there. And there we go, I've unlocked all the chests with the minute remaining, so I can go ahead and collect all my kings that I came here for. And I got nothing but fantasy weapons. Um, this is the only second time that... Oh wait, nope, there's a not fantasy weapon. Premium katana, look at that. Alright, I'm taking that too. So there's all of our king mods. And make sure you get your shotgun ammo. Fill up your shotgun. That's very important so that you can farm again. I still have 30 seconds. I'm good. And I've got maximum blah blah blah. Doop, doop, doop. And also you can get boosters from these lockers. So there we go. There's a... What is that? I don't know. What is that? Resistance. So you can get smacked a lot. That'll come in handy. Uh, especially for the room where you have to kill all the humans. There's stamina. Stamina is awesome. Alright, now it's time to go. We could have taken another like couple seconds to look around, but we made it. That's it. It's that easy. I'm going to cut this down a lot, but I got through it without using 900 boosters. Um, and that's the hardest one to get, I think, because you have to play night invasions. And the, let's see, the cloak potions, let's see how easy that is to make. So once you do Dahlia's mission, um, you're going to have all these weird potions, and then you're going to have cloak potion, and this is right next to med kit, by the way. And you need bolter tissue, you need herb, which is very easy to find. Um, it's that red, weird wheat looking thing growing out, out of the ground just everywhere. And you need gauze, so um, the bolter tissue is the rarest one or the hardest one to find but um yeah you should be able to make cloaks pretty easily i think but yeah that's it that's both methods of getting clickers and kings and they are the best right now they're the most legitimate best way to get them the most unlegitimate best way to get them would be to duplicate them of course but i don't know of any duplication glitches anymore i'm not into it i've got too many gold weapons i'm gonna be doing a gold weapon giveaway i'll be doing the gold weapon giveaway on twitch and it's just to empty out my inventory um so i'm not gonna be duplicating weapons like three years ago when i first started doing the giveaways i won't be duplicating them you get what you get you can request stuff of course but hopefully i'll have it if i don't have it I definitely don't have it. But anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you found it informative. And as always, I will see you in the next video.